In this video, I'll show you how to create a movie of a moving comment using Cyril. Hey, this is the Mad Scientist Guy from My Engineering Projects, and welcome to the channel. A couple weeks ago, I shot this comment. I only had a very short window, and I showed you how I did it uh, using my uh, camera lens and my ASI Air. And it showed a screenshot movie. I thought it'd be fun to create a standalone web video, and use, we're going to do that using Cyril, which is an open source astronomy imaging program. All right, here's my working directory. I'm going to create a new folder called v3. I've made a couple of different revisions. We'll go to Cyril and we're going to set the folder to v3. And that'll be the working directory. Now in the conversion, we're going to add all of our lights in. So they are going to be here in the lights folder. And let's just call this stack and we'll just convert them. This will convert and create a sequence called stack. All right, so it's automatically uh, loaded the stack sequence. And what we need to do is we need to stretch all of the images within the sequence. So here's how we're going to do it. We'll go to the histogram transformation and I'm just going to, for this demonstration, do the auto. And if you want to do it your way, then feel free. But I find it to be pretty easy and consistent. And then there's a little checkbox down here that it says apply to sequence. And you must do this or else this whole thing will not work. So now, as you can see, we've got a spinning beach ball. And it is applying it to every image within the sequence. Let that go for a few more seconds. OK. Now, uh, these are the previous uh, base names from the previous versions. So let's just say we're going to do the, uh, we call it the video. What we're, this is going to be the name of the video that we're going to export. Now, over here on the right, there are several options. You can uh, export them as images, or we have four video formats, AVI, MP4, H264, 265, and WebM. I have done them all. And for me, AVI produces the best uh, video. So I'm going to choose that. And then I'm going to choose Export Sequence. And then it's going to be the name of video. And you can see down here it's counting. It's doing them one at a time. And it has succeeded. So let's go take a look. Now if we go into V3, here is our AVI, video AVI. We'll double click that. So I'm on a Mac. So in order to view an AVI file, I'm going to use the VLC Media Player, which is another free program. And when we do that, here is the result that we get. So it's just as easy as that. So I hope you found that helpful, and I'll see you next time.